What's going on, man? Kata back with another vlog. I end up pulling the whip out today, bringing it to the new house. Everything was good. This is the passenger front where I put the wheel with disc brakes. Ain't nothing leaking in the front. So my wife ended up following me here. When I left this car at the other house, we end up doing the lift footage, which y'all will be seeing soon in the vlog. But guess what? When I make it here, hit the brakes, the car barely wanted to stop. I get out, check the fluid, all the fluid full. Something say, go around the car, check all the brakes, just look. Caliber is hanging off the road. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me try to adjust this and hit the light on for y'all. Yes. <laughs> Boat backed out. Brake pads just hanging on the caliber. And it is off of the road. So I'm wondering why when I hit the brakes coming in the garage, it's damn near finna keep going. <laughs> if it ain't one thing, it's another. So I gotta go to the parts store tomorrow. And hopefully they got another boat or something to put in here. Or I'm gonna be all messed up. Cause I got appointments in the morning and everything. If it ain't one thing, it's another with these calls. Stay tuned. What's going on, gang? So we up top of the morning. Man, so I really looked at it and was able to see this morning what was going on. I called Red, hopefully he comes out. If not, I already went and got another car to move around. I'll end up on, probably end up having to get this car towed or I might have to go pick him up, depending on if he say that's too far from, cause he coming out of Baton Rouge to take him about 35 minutes, 40 minutes, depending on traffic, could be longer. But I looked on this side with a caliber and everything is still intact. And I was trying to see exactly what was going on. And I was able to see that the boat backed out of the caliber. And this was the side of the vehicle I wasn't having any issues with. The side I just showed y'all was the side that was leaking fluid in the lip of the rim. But yeah, that boat backed out. And the bracket's still back there. Hold on, let me try to get the light for y'all. So the boat backed out of there. And the bracket is still on the back. So I would need to take the boat out the other side. Go to the port store or the boat store. I hope they have one that matches identical. And hopefully just slide it back under there. But the thing is, like I told Red before he came way out here. And I was trying to get all this situated today. I had an appointment at Jim's alignment. I was going to stop at Signature Rides because guess what? I do not have the little tool to take the center cap off. So... I need to stop at Signature Ride, and one of my old partners just had called me the other day and told me he had an issue and needed to take him off, and it's a special tool you need, and he went to um, Signature Ride. They charged him like $25 for the part or 50 or something, and I told him, I said, yeah, I'm going to have to get it, and guess what? I don't got it, so Red cannot take the whole wheel off and do it. He had to slide under the car on the backside. So I explained that to him. So we'll see how this worked out this morning. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I had plans today on going to Jim's alignment, get the car washed while I was on the side in Baton Rouge, David's car stereo, and see what they was talking about and get something done there also. And then go buy my old music man to get my hides in my car. But We'll see if Red can finish this in time. We can still do all that stuff because my gym's alignment wasn't until um, noon, 12 o'clock. So we go see. We go see. I just got off the phone with Red. He told me to send him the address. And uh, he was going to get situated and head this way. But like I say, once he sees his 35 minutes, 40 minutes or something, <laughs> he might change his mind. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned. 
Stay tuned. And if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe. It's free. Go ahead and hit the button. Subscribe. It's free. Man, it's just a, a blessing that this happened when I pulled up. It couldn't have happened at a better time. Even though it didn't want to stop when I was pulling up in the garage in this spot. But it uh, obviously did when I pushed it all the way to the floor. But I was thinking it was just low on fluid or something. I didn't think the whole caliber and the brake pads fell back off of the road. It wasn't even on like this. I thought it was just low on fluid. But, um, yeah, it just happened at a very good time because we were just shooting a video. I was on the interstate, which I'm going to insert up in here. I had my daughter getting some footage for me. But, um, yeah, all I can say is it's a blessing. And from now on, I know I need to pick my mechanics wisely, the right way. People I've been dealing with that does stuff the right way for sure. It makes every, sure everything's tight, everything. But I just want to let y'all know it's a blessing. I'm going to insert that video though, right before I pulled up in the garage. He got me right, huh? Again. Old Red came to the rescue, man. Boats was too long. Yeah. They had three, four washes on each boat. They ended up backing out. Well, one ended up backing out all the way, and one was hanging on. He said that one was loose. So we went, got some shorter boats. And the outcome is coming out pretty good. Got some Loctite going on it, so it shouldn't bag out at all, huh? At least that's what you told me. That's the lie you told me, huh, Rick? <laughs> we still got to check the other side too. 
Might end up switching them. What you think? I ain't switching Man, I, I, I'm paying you for this. I know. I'm going to use that little Good. I'm paying you good. <laughs> so, Red got me right. My people here cutting the lawn over here. Gonna get ready to head to BR and do what I got to do. And uh, when I get back, I still had to mess with this stuff here. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot on my plate. That's why we've been kind of, well, I've been kind of slow vlogging. But, um, yeah, I'm going to turn y'all back on once I get in the car headed to BR. First stop, Signature Rides. Got to get that piece. That thing, that clean. But I got to get that piece for these wheels. That thing clean. I'm starting to like them too, though. Caprices. Caprices, period. That thing now. Pretty nice. And that Bonneville. Got the gold trimming on it. All around the tail light. Front grill, it's nice. So I done made it by Jimmy, getting the car wash. And uh, I just left Signature Rise. I finally got this piece that I need to pull the ceiling caps off the forger just in case I have an issue and uh, need to take the rims off by any chance, but they end up giving it to me. I didn't have to pay anything because the guy thought he had already gave me one, but they didn't. So he gave it to me for free and explained to me how to use it or whatever. And um, Man, I've seen that Caprice there. I'm still thinking about that Caprice. That Tudor thing is was nice, man. And I've been online looking at something else to buy, G buy this Caprices or whatever. Make sure y'all um make sure y'all fall off in the comments. Uh if y'all have anything for sale or know someone that has something nice for sale, a Caprice or a G buy this. Uh, in nice condition. Like I say. I like mine kind of super tight, original already. If it needs a little interior work, I can do that. Or a little uh, paint work, but I don't want nothing with no rust on it. Or anything like that. No rust holes, none of that. You know, a little work. Because I know I'm going to pay for what I want. But um, but yeah, that Caprice was nice. I ain't lying. It was nice. I've been on Marketplace looking at all those kind of lit things and stuff. So. Mm. We'll see what happens in the future. It's Jimmy. First time seeing it since I put the wheels on. And that thing nice. That thing glowing, man. After we leave here, we go going to Jim's alignment. I already got an appointment there. Go there, then I gotta go to the barber shop. Your boy looking rough, man. I've been uh, going to work, picking up people days. I've been going to work like six, seven straight days. Not including just the one day I had off last week when I did shoot a video and drop it. So I haven't had a cut in like a week and a half or a line in like a week and a half, two weeks. So I'm gonna go give me a line today when I'm on this side. Just from the leave from my grandma's house and head to Jim's alignment for my appointment. As you can see, the kid looking rough. Uh -huh. Then at the gym, I'm gonna try to go to the barber and get a, a line, you dig? Stay tuned. So I just pulled up at Jim's alignment. We finna go up in here and see what they talking about. They don't look too packed. Look like I seen one car in the bay. I got an appointment for 12, it's 11.47. Hopefully they don't take too long, but you know your boy can't prepare. <laughs> if I don't do nothing, I gotta stop and get me some good, some grub. Got them hot wings, fish strips, and that fried rice, shrimp fried rice for my little spot on Windburn. Oh yeah, stay tuned. All right, just finished at Jim's alignment. They end up uh, jumping in it. Riding around, putting it on a machine, got an alignment, jumped in it again, drove it, it was good. And I was in and out pretty fairly quick. Been in there like 30 minutes. So uh, while I was on, 
while I was waiting, I was on YouTube just looking, and I had a guy ask me a question about he had the big caps, and he also just put wheel wood disc brakes on the front of his, and from the hub sticking out, I guess they told him he needed an extender or something, which he doesn't need, but, and I also had another guy ask me the question about the spaces on here, which I don't know, so I'm gonna try to do my best to show y'all, and maybe y'all would know the size of it. The spacer that's on the front. And that's on the front. And I had the hub or wheel wood disc brakes in the caps. You could remove the front cap on the on the hub and the bearings that's on there won't come out because they have a uh, what they call those a column pin or something like that the lock pins that uh holds the bearing in so you could twist that cap off of there and don't have to put them on and just put your center caps on and also i wanted to show y'all the back which i didn't see a spacer so i don't think they put a spacer in the back at all but uh yeah we gonna do as usual do our little walk around make sure ain't nothing wrong with the wheels since they um brought it in the shop which i don't see anything yet i don't see anything yet and then we finna head to the barber shop we is finna head to the barber shop everything good and also uh I didn't know until it was time to pay. Usually it's $89 for alignment, but I guess that's what regular wheels on, they end up, when you got bigger wheels on, the alignment gets a little more expensive over here, but they the only ones in the city that can really do it with the big wheels on. So yeah, like I say, we can head to the barber shop I cut y'all back on. Just leaving the barber shop. Shawty got your boy right. Oh yeah, I'm back now. Gonna head to uh David to see if they open. And uh as soon as we make it there, if they are open, I'll uh, cut y'all back on then. Pulling up at David's. See what they got going on here, boy. This was the spot at one time, man. You came here, you was that thing, man. I promise. In like 2005, 6, 07, this is where everybody was coming, man. Get them JL 13s. They was like the only ones in the city with them. So we finna go up in here, see what they talking about, and look at some stuff. And shit. hopefully, I can get a deal. And you know, I'm gonna try to talk them down. You need a sponsor? <laughs> uh, hold tight. So I just left David's getting a long put on. They got me right. That was something I really needed since uh, I put those wheels on there. It had a long, but it was like poo. Like when I say poo, poo, didn't make no noise at all. So, you know, I needed that. But uh, I'll show y'all more once I get either to the house or I'm going to either end up pulling up on L at the shop. And I'll uh, give y'all another walk around and show y'all some more before I close this video out. Stay tuned. This thing is riding better since I got that alignment. 
look, hands ain't on the wheels and you don't see the wheels shaking or nothing. Going straight. Look at that. Hand ain't on the wheel. It's straight here. I'm telling you, gems know what they doing, man. I made it to the house gang. I don't know. Uh, something I didn't tell y'all while I was there at David's. I end up discussing some music with him. I'm thinking about putting some music up in here or whatever. Oh, uh, it's in the air. Maybe a couple of more weeks, another month. I don't know. But I'm definitely thinking about putting some music up in here now. And oh, uh, I was just looking at sundowns he had in there. Price knows in the JL why they put the um, alarm on it. And I just went with a simple alarm. I didn't want to do no automatic start and all that other stuff because I still have to, like I told him, um, with the door locks, I still have to get those changed. Um, ignition switch, trunk lock. I have all that brand new. I just got to get it changed. So I just did the prestige alarm. That's good enough. You know. And they got it to where the lights come on they connect it and you'll hear it because obviously they had one on here when i bought the car but the guy only had one pad with it and like i told you I, I do know the guy who i bought the car from but um you know i don't trust nobody like that since especially i didn't put wheels on the car and spent all this money and he just gave me one pad so he probably had the other pad he just gave me one car key. He might have another car key. So that's why I said I was going to run through it and change all the locks. The ignition, door locks, and the trunk locks. I bought them all brand new from Mike's Marty, but I never put them in yet. Looked like I'm going to have to do it because um, my mechanic, who I had doing that type of stuff, got real sick. So um, he's currently not working. So I may end up having to do it myself. Maybe a little project or if I do find someone to do it. I let them do it because I'll be having a whole bunch of other stuff on my plate, you know, right now, especially with working all these extra days. I'm taking up stuff at the house. My wife ordering stuff every day. I'm putting together. It's it's just a lot. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, so that was the thing. I discussed music with him. Then I called my guy who ended up doing the hides in this car for me, who put the hides and who did my custom back dash. And me and him discussed some music about putting some music in the trunk. And he told me he's going to send me a package of all uh, different things. So we'll see. We'll see how that go. I told him to send me a little package. He told me, how you trying to go? You trying to go crazy? Well, you could go to the car shows or or you just trying to throw a little something up in there? Hey, you rattling. Well, you, you sound good. I told him, man, I might be trying to go crazy for when I pull up at them car shows. So y'all might want to stay tuned to this. You know what I'm saying? I really would have liked somebody to get this car solid. But I don't know how this going to turn out once I do this music, y'all. <laughs> it might not be good. It might not be good. Like I say, he going to give me a couple of package deals. And within a couple of weeks or so or a month, I may end up going my move on the music. So just stay tuned and stay locked in if y'all new to the channel make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's free baby why not hit it make sure y'all hit that like button it's free hit the share button and make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified when these vlogs dropping and i definitely appreciate y'all for watching stay tuned for the next one I'm out.